solve the following equation for the unknown and keep it as a fraction if necessary. Okay, so let's give this one a try. We're solving for x, and as you can see, we have actually x in numerous locations in this equation. Now, the first step in something as complicated as this, you want to simplify and ideally get rid of all the brackets that you have. Now, we have multiple brackets on the left-hand side, and we have some on the right-hand side. So let us first try to get rid of the brackets on the left-hand side. When you're working with brackets and there are multiple brackets, like you see here in this case, before trying to distribute anything right from the get-go, and I know that some may be tempted to get rid of this negative, which is in front here, uh, please go inside of the brackets and see if you can simplify things a lot further. And so for this entire bracket that you have here, I can actually simplify because there is another pair of brackets that you can see there. And I'm going to get rid of those brackets inside of those big square brackets first. And in order to do that, I will distribute across. So I'm going to have to bring in the two okay, and get rid of this entire bracket. Don't forget, as you're distributing, uh, distribute across every term. And in this case, what I will get is, so I'm going to rewrite this on the left-hand side. So I have negative x plus, now the 2 times the 4, uh, notice that it's negative actually. So now I'm going to have negative 8x, and then the 2 times the 4 again. Now in this case it is plus. So this is what I have here inside of this bracket. Now again, some people will get tempted and once they finish and get rid of that bracket again they will want to try to bring in that negative but notice that you can actually make it a little bit simpler for yourself you can collect like terms inside of that bracket okay and what i mean by like terms is we have this right here okay so we have the two x's there so it's negative x minus 8x and that's actually going to give me negative 9 x plus the 8 and that simplifies that entire square bracket a lot further and now yes you can take your negative okay and and don't forget that it's actually negative 1 there and you can bring it inside of this bracket and distribute it across but again don't forget to distribute it across the whole thing so that will give me negative and negative will cancel off so i have positive and then I have a negative 8 okay and that now gets rid of and simplifies the entire left hand side now coming back to the right hand side so of course I have my right hand side here this one is much simpler I do see a bracket and I do have a negative there's really nothing to do inside of this bracket except okay, get rid of that so I'm going to bring this again it's a negative one so I'm going to bring this inside and there's only one term here remember terms are separated by additions and subtractions so the negative one times the negative three okay so when I distribute that across I'm going to get positive 3x and that's what I have. So there's actually nothing else to do in terms of simplification. So I'm just going to carry this down all the way. And now no more brackets. Okay. The next step that I typically will try to do is I'll try to group and collect like terms, meaning shifting all your unknown terms. So the terms that have an unknown, which is the x. And then I have the 3x over here. So I'll bring that over to one side, and then I will take all the numbers and then bring it over to the opposite side. So in this situation, I will bring this 3x over to the left-hand side, which is going to give me 9x from here. This is now going to be minus x. Notice the sign has to change over. Okay, so that's what happened there. And now working with the numbers, I will bring the negative 8 over, so the negative 10 stays on this side, 
when you bring the negative 8, it will change to a positive. So that shifts over. And now I can collect my like terms. So 9x minus 3x is equal to 6x equals 2. And then I have negative 10 plus the 8, which is going to be negative 2. So that now leaves me only with 6x on the left-hand side. And I can get rid of that 6 by dividing both sides by 6. So that will cancel, and it's going to leave me with negative 2 over 6. It does say to keep it as a fraction, so I can actually leave it as it is and put it in reduced form if necessary. And you can ask your teachers if you're working on that, if you have to do that, or if you maybe have to change it to a decimal. And that's it. Okay, So that's all that you actually have for this particular question. I hope that you found this useful. Thank you for watching, everyone.